everybody. I uh, hope you're doing well. So in today's lesson, I'm going to be doing a real quick tutorial about how you can make wrinkles and folds on a shirt. This is for times when you want to make a bit more detail on your clothing, but you don't want to spend time to sculpt in ZBrush and transfer your mesh over. And this is an easy way to do it directly in Cinema 4D. So without further ado, here we go. All right, guys, so here in Cinema 4D, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate how this works a little bit first. Uh, so I'm going to make a plane, and then I'm going to try to give this plane a little bit more resolution. So I'm going to put it in the subdivision surface and turn that up to maybe 4. And this method only works if the geometry that you're using has a good amount of resolution, so a good amount of polys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the subdivision surface, and make it editable. And that'll combine my plane with the subdivision surface. And if you look at it now, it's going to have a pretty dense poly mesh. And then I'm going to click on my subdivision surface and then click on the smoothing under the deformers. And then I'm going to hold shift while I click and then put this smoothing as a child of the subdivision surface. So what the smoothing deformer does is under smooth, it kind of acts like the smooth brush. So if you have ups and downs in your geometry, it'll kind of smooth them out. But what I want to do is set this type to relax. And what relax does is it causes the mesh to act like cloth. And then I want to click initialize and that'll put the subdivision surface in the memory. And then I'm going to set these iterations to about 60 and then set the stiffness down to zero and click initialize again. And then I'm going to click back on my mesh and then go under mesh and then brushes and click on the grab brush. And then I'm going to start moving things around. So you can see as I start moving things around, it creates kind of like folds in fabric, which is what I want. So this is just moving the geometry around. It's not actually dynamic cloth but it gets the job done for making the appearance of cloth. And this is really helpful when it comes to making folds in clothing. And I could change my brush size to make bigger folds. Or I can even go under mesh and change it to the inflate brush and inflate some area a little bit more. and then go back to my grab brush and this will make an even denser fold. Okay, so I have this shirt model and I want to add wrinkles to it, so I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to click on my geometry, go under deformers, hold shift while clicking smoothing, and then click on the smoothing deformer change the type to relax, click initialize, and set this iterations. I'm going to go with 100 because I want the wrinkles to be kind of bigger. I'm going to set the stiffness to zero. And then click initialize again. And then click on my mesh. And under mesh, go to brush. Click on the grab brush. And I'm just going to start slowly moving the shirt around. And as you can see, it starts to give me the result that I want, which is to give it a little bit light wrinkles, kind of like cloth. I could do that same with the back. Just give it a little bit extra detail. And there we go. Feel free to try this out. I hope that you learned something and have a good day. Bye.